everyone, so I am off to my first brow embroidery appointment. So I'm walking out of house, I'm actually late, so I'll be rushing there. I'm going to Capital Piazza, Plaza Piazza at City Hall. So I'm gonna take the downtown line and let's bring you along for my first experience with High Brow Singapore. So I'll leave all the information below and I'm just vlogging the whole experience actually. So you guys can see if you're interested in this kind of a treatment, what to do with your brows in the future. So let's go! I'm on the way back and you probably can't see the finished results but you can definitely see my lashes so in any case when I'm home I'll show you my before and after shots which I took with my SLR so you can see everything in detail so check back when I'm back <laughs> a consolidated review on Highbrow Singapore. They kindly sponsored a bribe livening as well as eyelash extension service for me to do this video so I'm very thankful for the opportunity but yeah why I wanted to do this is because you guys know I have a lazy girl tries it episode and I love to try different things for the first time. I'm just going to do my really quick review on how I found the two treatments which is the brow embroidery livening treatment and yeah I did eyelash extensions as well. This is about a week after the treatment so as you can see a few of the lashes on the left side do kind of drop out the right side is still maintaining so there's quite an uneven kind of a um, balance to it but I can say that overall I find that I did not put any makeup on my eyes so that's a plus and also on my brows 
So this is the makeup that I've been wearing all the time because I don't want to put anything on my eyes so that I don't have to scrub on the lashes but it has really saved me a lot of time in the morning because I don't have to do my brows and lashes but overall I think that in terms of speeding up your makeup routine and also the time you take in the morning it's super effective especially if you are someone who already does your brows every day, curls your lashes every day. I never really stick to a five minute routine in the morning but this has definitely helped me save some time i'll leave those information below in terms of pricing the higher tier pricing but but for first time customers with highbrow singapore you can get the lash by lash service at 69 dollars and for the iris lashes you can get it at 89 dollars for first time customers so that is a really really good deal i think that the lash dropping and all this basically is quite a common thing that people experience from what I've heard. It will naturally drop off after a while when the glue wears away because it isn't permanent. Nor is like if you do a lash perm, it also will start to curl back down. It won't last for very long because all these things are temporary treatments. But I've minimally for brows, you can get it at $788 for a class 2 specialist and that sounds like a lot of money but basically that is the market rate and also that it basically gives you permanent brows for about a year plus and if you take care if you take good care of it it can even stretch to one and a half years so basically this is as good as it gets. In terms of treatment, you want to look at something that is really quality grade, something that will last and also it not damage your skin. You want to find professionals that won't ruin your eyebrows or even your eyelash and it just allows you to renew the type of treatment like for instance, if your colour does fade, it won't be difficult to patch up the professionals. If you have a very bad job done, they will have a difficult time but if you do it really really well the first time renewing the kind of color and the strokes that you want will be a lot easier so really i would think that investing in a quality service in the beginning of a higher pay grade would be a lot better in terms of investment rather than you know splurging out on very cheap minimal service that you know actually you'll be losing your brow hairs rather than you know getting very nice full luscious brows so for the brow livening service so in tandem these two services are really quite a great thing to experience for your first time and also one thing to mention is that both these services did not hurt at all they didn't even feel like they were stinging because the specialist actually told me to like inform them if I felt a stinging sensation a burning sensation but I didn't feel any of that so that was a plus I really hate pain especially on this area because it's really sensitive but overall everything has been great I didn't even experience any sort of swelling so yeah, I mean, I can't say enough good things, but, but for me personally, I can see myself doing without lash extensions. I mean, naturally, I was not gifted with really nice volumizing lashes, but if I do want that kind of effect, I feel as though I would much prefer to put on fake lashes and then remove them at the end of the day. So yeah, that's just my opinion, but I think people who really want that consistent full lash look on whatever occasion lash extensions is really really good for me i mean i never had an issue with my lashes or my brows actually so it's just really depending on the kind of person i assume so yeah similarly as i was talking you will have seen a list of pros and cons you can scroll back to the video to see what i really think yeah that comes to the end of my review and just wanted to show you guys a very quick five minute routine i won't put it in this video but i will link my instagram handle here at the same time when this video goes up you can check out my Instagram page for a really quick makeup routine using very minimal products because I do have my brows and lashes done and you can see how I've been using my makeup lately because I mean if you're really considering doing this you would want to know how it would truly impact your routine and yeah that's basically what I've been doing because I don't have to fill in my brows and lashes so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any other questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below I hope I've been thoroughly honest and quite concise I don't like to ramble on and I love to 
just let you guys know how I feel as it is without you know compromising on the truth so oh yeah if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below recommend this to your family and friends and I'll see you guys in the next one bye